Well, anyway, as, uh, it's, I was very excited. So many people uh, come to Washington DC and then for a very important purpose. I think it was the, uh, for all along, well, maybe I should stand here. So, <coughs> Asian Americans are relatively new to this country and I think during the past, we have really made a lot of contribution to this society. But somehow we are not recognized, and a lot of times we are not really uh, getting a fair share uh, to, in terms of uh, allocation of resources to us. At the same time, because of that, <coughs> we didn't have the opportunity uh, to contribute our fair share to this society. And I think it's also a lot of people uh, been working very hard for a long time, and I think. Uh, it is, uh, but somehow we do not have uh, a lot of uh, opportunity that that a lot of times is in pockets, and that uh, a lot of effort has been done, but somehow we need a, a tighter correlation. So therefore, uh, we will continue uh, to do that. As you see the, uh, from the video today. Uh, we talk about three things in terms of contributing and then, uh, and then also receiving uh, the benefit to be a citizen of the United States. Uh, especially in area of uh, community involvement, there's a lot of times we are actually pretty close in, very, very tight. And then what we need to do is go out to the society, to go to our neighborhood, and be a part of it rather than be an observer or be somebody very comfortable within our own tight uh, community. So therefore, basically, <coughs> one thing is us. Uh, the government have many facets and we should participate in every facet. We should be involving in the community in the area in terms of uh, public safety. We'll be, uh, so therefore we know that we are, we are basically interact with the neighborhood. We should be cons more concerned about how the education system among our, <coughs> our own family. We should be concerned about different areas like public safety and then the, uh, the, <coughs> uh, the transportation and everything. So in order to do that, not only a citizen participate, I think we should encourage ourselves. If you have a passion, work in the government and move up in the government and then be of the difference. And on top of it, there should be another area because <coughs> it happened to be in every city. The planning commission, the uh, <coughs> uh, all kind of commission of, of utility and everything, they always have they only have a list of commissioners they want to, uh, to appoint. But somehow when Asian Americans uh, come to that, their resume doesn't fit very well. All you need is do some kind of community work that connected to that. And there's so many Asian Americans are qualified to be a commissioner. All you need is to add a little bit to your resume and you'll be appointed. So because we have been pretty shy in that area. And the third area is a lot of area that you can actually get elected and make legislation and change your neighborhood locally. And then you move up from city to county and then to, to the state. And then uh, like what we have in our video, quite a few congressmen of Asian heritage get elected, and even more so. So in such a case, uh, I think 20 years ago, I kind of participated uh, in the organization of internship, the uh, <coughs> uh, Vision America. All the students come up and make speeches. And the students, most of the, a lot of students say, my aspiration is to be the President of the United States. Wow, that's a, a really good ambition. But however, 
in order to do that, it actually needs a lot of foundation, and then a lot of work, a lot of credibility, and then in order to work towards that, I think that dream could come true soon. So therefore, in order to do that, that means that we no longer should be fragmentedly and do your own thing. We should do things collectively. And that's very, very important. So therefore, I, my, my, my aim, and then the, uh, as, as part of the community for Civil Leadership USA, and then we started the Civil Leadership Forum. We should, we should create a forum for everybody uh, to, to get together. So therefore, not only we need quality, actually we need quantity. Not only that we have to create a power within our own community, we should empower other community and then build trust with all community. <clears throat> so therefore, we really be a, a part that interact rather than close in. So, so in such case, when I was uh, doing the Vision America Internship Program, we spent about 20% of our resources to promote among the privileged population. Because they are, the parents are aware, and then the, uh, the students are eager to participate. But we spend 80% of our resources to the 20% underprivileged area because the parents are not aware and the kids have to even do part-time work even at school and in high school. And then, so therefore, for Vision America, our, our mix is 80% Asian and 20% Blacks, Latino, and other race. So this is the way we want to integrate, even though it is a program for Asian Americans. I think it is necessary. I think along the way, uh, this is about Vision America, along the way I got to know CC, and I'm really moved by the work of Apapa. Apapa is very much, very much like API Evolve. <laughs> Because it's very much about to be counted as a person you can participate. That means voter registration. Unless you register to vote, you cannot participate. You couldn't be a part that make any of those changes that you wish to make. For that, I think Papa has done a lot. And then another thing about outreaching uh, to make our importance is us, is the uh, Papa Forum. The forum is so important. During the election time, you create a forum, and then you bus <coughs> the people from all over, or they come by themselves, and then they let the politician to tell them what's going on. And that portion is so important. First, first you create a education to let the Asian American know what the politician stands on. But more importantly, to let the politician that we have power. We have people who come in and then listen to those uh, foreign and they know physically that you exist. A lot of times, yesterday I was uh, talking to some of the Asian con congressmen uh, uh, in Congress and their reaction is us. The politicians don't care because I never see the Asians. They don't come on vote. Why should I waste my time among the Asians? So therefore, when Asian issues are around, they can ignore us. They can even ignore us now because they say you don't vote. You are not involved. And then you're not going to make a difference. I'm going to spend time with people that will make a difference. But we all actually make a difference, but somehow they, know, they don't know yet. So therefore, we need to get together. And they must make some changes. 
the reason why we are not <coughs> uh, will be annoyed is because a lot of time we're too fragmented. We don't work as a unison. So therefore, they can only see you a small pocket here, small pocket there. They don't know us as a power. They know you are numerous. But somehow we will get together and do things together. As Anthony said, you know, when you when you fly fly alone, any kind of bird cannot fly from <coughs> the uh, the Arctic area all the way to the warm area by one bird because it have to fly together. So somebody have to break the wing. And when, when that bird gets exhausted, the second one tries to break away. And they take turns. This is the spirit that we try to promote among all of us. Because we have to fly together. During the past, we all fly alone. If we fly alone, we can never get to our destination. If we fly together, we take turns to break the wing and everybody follow and everybody actually will do their part. So therefore we can come get to our destiny. So, but from time to time, some very strong birds can fly to the destiny, but somehow the impact is much smaller. We all get to the destiny. And then when we all get to the destiny, then people will say, wow, okay, they are a formidable, group. We have to prepare for that. The, uh, some statistics says, right, right now we have maybe 20, 22 million people, uh, Asian Americans in the United States. But it's growing. It's a faster growing <coughs> group in the United States. So right now we're probably about 6-7%. I think in about 22 years, Asian America will grow to 40 million. Maybe some of you have better update on those statistics. And then, one research I have yet to confirm. That's uh, a research come, come from Pure Research. A very respectable and <coughs> a research center to do this kind of things. And they say, in 50 years, Asian America will surpass in population over the, Latin, the Hispanics. If that is going to happen, we have to pay parole roll many things. We should be counted. As Mike Christine uh, would, would tell you, the important to be counted. Not even if we should be counted, we should contribute. So therefore, we have to pay parole roll for that. And I think it's so important. I would say, <coughs> during the past, the different periods that we have, we have to overcome a lot of challenges. When I first come to uh, this country, almost uh, yeah, 80 years, uh, four, uh, 50 years ago, <coughs> at that time, uh, in Northern California, the the groups pretty involved and try to get the uh, <clears throat> the benefit for Chinese American. At that time, it's with Chinese six companies in San Francisco. But that is a time of the downfall because the organizers are getting old. They started those in the twenties, in the thirties, and later on, subsequent <coughs> organization started. I think Joe here participated some. And then the, uh, well, he had participated some, and then I, I did. Then you know we are old. <laughs> but, but anyway, but anyway, the problem is, it's a succession. I think we have to figure out a way. The old organizations, when the organizers are getting old, somehow, we didn't get, they, they can be, becomes uh, less visible, less powerful, because we always have a problem of succession. Because we're isolated, it's very difficult. 
But if we all co collectively together, different owners, younger organizations will take over the older generation, and then so on. So therefore, to be together is so important. Okay, now, the, <laughs> I think in different areas, different organizations have different functions. It's so difficult to do everything, but it will be a lot, could be more accomplishing if you really focus in the area and make sure that area is the best you can contribute. So the <coughs> CLF USA a mission is us, let's start with as many areas for example, I, 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 excuse me, I, you can, you, I, I'm going to use the example of the bird fly together. We want more birds to fly to the destination, so more of them. But we, more, we need more of them <coughs> all take part so we can get to our destiny. So that means we need a lot of communities. Asian Americans live in many, many areas in the United States. In, for example, I'm come from Silicon Valley, Northern California. As a matter of fact, every community, like a city, we probably have 50 of them. And then they're very much populated by Asian Americans. Maybe we should have 50 organizations over there. Throughout the United States, we have Chinese community, Korean communities, Japanese, Indian, South Asian, and and Japanese and, and well, probably I'll repeat myself, but there are so many. Every if everyone have their own group, and those group will serve their own community among the own ethnic area, like the common <coughs> Uh, need of, of those groups, uh, they can retain their culture and they can socialize at the same time if they have a internship program, the internship will be placed in elected offices and then all of a sudden the elected government will be aware of that particular community and they really wish to have close contact with them. And then, and then beyond, there will be people among the group. Maybe they already have. People want to be okay, elected and represented and serve the community. And that will be a start. So therefore, <coughs> CLF, our main mission is to encourage every place to be organized to be contributing, and then to be influential and participatory and be become a power. If we have a thousand of those, then if they act alone, it's not so powerful. But if we act concert, <coughs> in concert, and then we really work with the other very closely, then people will see not one, but a thousand together. So sometimes I, I, I'm watching the, um, uh, the blue planet or something like the ocean. And sometimes uh, one fish alone, it will be eaten very quickly by a bigger fish. But if all the fish swim together and then have some kind of formation, they actually protect each other. So therefore, like Anthony said, so we have to be at the table together. Otherwise, we'll be on the menu and be eaten individually. <laughs> so therefore, basically, to come here is us. Together, we can be strong. And then, I think, we need to empower each other. And then, this is what See what USA is about. We're not trying to be getting ourselves any glory anything. If 
every one of you and then in your own community and then you can organize and then be a part and then also we are linked together then because of you be powerful the whole chain will be powerful and I think uh, there are many many attempts during the past it's been done and there are many many times it's been successful but somehow it is we still have a challenge of succession we have to continue on so Dolpo basically I can see you here coming to DC or you're already in DC we need to really look at each other that we are all partners with each other and then because we're partnered with each other we can make things now we can make a difference and I can see you I feel so excited I think the more we participate the more we collaborate I think we can get to our destiny